Hello, Scramble family. Welcome to Storytime. Our story today is Beast Feast by Emma Yarlett, the author of Nibbles, the Book Monster. One very hungry day, Beast caught dinner. Beast was ever so pleased. Dinner looked very tasty. You are dinner, said Beast. No, I'm not, said dinner. Beast didn't think he should keep such a tasty dinner all to himself, so he invited all of his beastly friends to a beast feast. Dinner looked worried. Soon, Beast had his first reply for the beast of the cave. Dearest Beast, I would love to attend your darling feast. I'm always hungry, and your dinner sounds extra tasty. I can't wait. I received your invitation while slurping cockroach cola on the Costa del Swamp. I popped my recipe below. Do you have any cockroaches nearby? Fingers and horns crossed. I wonder, would you mind fattening dinner up a tad? I love my food juicy and plump, just like me. I'm particularly fond of chewing chubby fingers. Anything too scrawny gets stuck in my teeth. See you soon, dear chum, and remember to save the fingers for me. You're salvatingly Sir Gut Guzzler, Lord Glutton of Plumpington Swamp. Beast was very pleased that Sir Gut Guzzler could make it. He had a great plan to fatten up dinner when... Dinner had an idea. Mr. Beast said dinner. This swill looks lovely, but how about some delicious chocolate cake? It would make me far plumper. Beast wasn't sure. He'd never tried chocolate cake before, but it turned out to be very tasty indeed. They stayed up all night eating and snacking. Beast hoped dinner would be plump enough for Sir Gut Guzzler. In the morning, another beast replied. To my darling beast, how wonderful to hear from you. I'm so looking forward to eating dinner with you. Remember the time we ate lunch at the seaside? Oh, sweet memories. I wonder, might you be able to make dinner as salty as lunch was? It would make my century. Yours always, Madam Gargoyle. P.S. I hope you like the gift enclosed. Roses are red, my toenails are blue. Here are you, especially for you. Beast couldn't wait to see Madame Gargoyle. He hadn't seen her since the Middle Ages. He had just found the salt grinder when dinner had an idea. Hang on, Beast. To make me as salty as can be, why don't we go for a swim in the sea? Beast had never been swimming in the sea before. The water was cold, but he had a wonderful day. He hoped dinner would be salty enough for darling Madame Gargoyle. Soon there was more post. Mr. Beastie. Mr. Beastie, all right eating that dinger at yours sounds good. We'll bring giant Groucho too. Need big chairs and double portions. Also, dinner needs to be extra muddy and slimy. Groucho says best way to make dinner muddy is with dirt and mud. Got a slime bath? Yum, yum. Groucho says we'll bring our own bone crunchers. See you soon. GG. Beast almost wished he hadn't invited giant Grumble, but he went and switched on the slime anyway. Luckily, dinner had another idea. Oh no, Beast said dinner that's nowhere near slimy enough for oodles of slime and mud there's only one place to go the swamp beast did love the swamp and dinner's ideas had been very good so far so off they went to the swamp the slimy slide was extra fun although beast thought dinner probably was muddy and slimy enough for the giants he was beginning to wish he didn't have to eat dinner another day brought another beastly reply mr beast Dear Mr. Beast, I would like to accept your kind and cordial invitation to attend your Beast Feast. I have only a few dietary requirements which I have listed below. I do hope you will comply. Harry Fairy. Requirements. 1. Dinner must be chilled before cooking. 2. No socks or shoes or toenails. 3. No gluten or dairy. 4. No bones. And remember, dinner must be chilled. Beast scratched his nose. His guests were making such difficult demands. What could he do to chill dinner? Then dinner had an idea. Look outside, my beastly friends. Let's chill ourselves in the snow and build snow monsters. Beast thought that sounded perfect. It was the best day. At last, it was the evening before the beast feast. Dinner had been plumped and salted and muddied and chilled. But Beast really didn't want to eat dinner tomorrow. You don't look like dinner anymore. You don't look like such a beast anymore. What could they do? Beast thought and thought. Could dinner run? Could dinner hide? But then all the beasts would be angry. There was nothing for it. I'll just have to serve dinner, thought Beast. The following day, the beasts arrived one by one. They were very hungry indeed and were looking forward to eating dinner. 
Beast greeted them warmly. Come inside, said Beast. I've been cooking for hours. Dinner is served. And what a tasty dinner it was. It was the greatest Beast feast there had ever been. Chocolate fingers, ice pops, chocolate mud pie, and salted popcorn. And dinner had a rather good time, too. Till next time, Scramble family.